This episode is about White Fence. White Fence is one of the oldest Mexican gangs in LA County and in general being started over 70 years ago. White Fence first branch started in the Boyle Heights neighborhood of East LA and later spread to other parts of LA and other states. White Fence are Serenos and are aligned to the Mexican Mafia. White Fence are rivals of Maravilla sets and Vario Nuevo Estrada, just to name a few. With that being said, let's get into some cases. March 28th, 2007. Hector and his girlfriend went to a 99 cent store for Hector to sell some work to a knock. As he was driving away, a white car parked across the street from the 99 cent store. Hector left and went to his mom's house. 15 minutes later, he returned to the 99 cent store to make another sale. The white car was still parked there. The driver of the car flagged down Hector and his girlfriend. The white car pulled alongside of Hector's car. The passenger was a man named Lombardo, and the driver was a woman named Charlotte. Lombardo got out the car and shot Hector and Hector's girlfriend. Hector lost his life. Hector's girlfriend was shot, but she survived. Hector's girlfriend would later identify Lombardo as the shooter and Charlotte as the driver. Two witnesses who were also in the 99 cent store parking lot identified Lombardo and Charlotte. Both Lombardo and Charlotte were from White Fence. The motive of the shooting was Hector was in White Fence turf making sales without being a member or paying taxes. This was took as their suspect and Lombardo wanted Hector to pay. Lombardo was later picked up and he admitted to being a shooter and said Charlotte was the driver. Lombardo and Charlotte were both sentenced to 50 years to life. May 9th, 2007. Anthony was at his grandma's house on 3rd Street. He sat outside and walked up and down the block as he talked to his girlfriend on the phone. A burgundy car put up on the street and followed Anthony's every move. He walked forward, the car drove up. He walked back and the car reversed. Anthony hung up his phone and walked up to the car and said, what's up? A white fence member named Swan mugged Anthony and asked Anthony where was he from. Anthony was from V&E, Vario Nuevo Estrada, even though his dad, dad and uncles were from white fence. Swan put out his banger and shot Anthony in his stomach. He became paralyzed from the shooting. Anthony later told police he was shot by a white fence member and a guy named Dreamer was the driver and Swan was the shooter. Swan was later picked up at his home on 2nd Street. He denied the shooting and denied he even knew Dreamer. Swan was later sentenced to 25 years to life. Dreamer was never arrested because he was never identified. This next case is about Anthony's stepdad and his mom. July 8th. 2009, Gloria and her husband Chicho were shopping at a store. Chicho was approached by Victor and another White Fence member. Chicho was also from White Fence. Victor called Chicho a snitch and told him to catch his fade. Chicho and Gloria immediately left the store. Victor and the man he was with left on their bikes. When Anthony got shot, Chicho testified in court against his fellow White Fence member. Chicho and Gloria arrived to their home and were grabbing groceries out their car. Victor pulled up on his bike and started firing. Victor was later picked up a few blocks away. Gloria and the neighbors would say Victor was the shooter. Gloria testified and Victor was sentenced to life. This next case was also related with Chicho being involved. Salvador was a known snitch and was working as a CI for the police. Chicho had been threatening Salvador for a while, calling him a rat which is funny because Chicho testified in court and was shot months earlier for being a rat. October 24th, 2009. Chicho shot Salvador several times. Salvador survived, but later told police it was Chicho and he was 100% sure it was. Chicho was later picked up and his defense was he didn't do it because he was at home with his wife and that was later proven false. Chicho was later sentenced to life. The last case happened on May 25th, 2010. A man named Jose witnessed a drive-by, which two people were shot. Police were in the area and followed the shooter's car. They got took on the chase, and the passenger got out the car and ran. The driver was later arrested. The passenger fled to South Soto Street. The passenger and the driver were from White Fence. The passenger was named Christopher. He went to another White Fence member home on South Soto Street to hide. Christopher was later found and arrested. One of the victims picked Christopher out of a lineup 
The shooting happened in 4th Street Flats turf. The driver in the shooting was recently shot by the Flats and the shooting was payback. Christopher was charged with the shooting. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.